Okay, so Coach Walsh, I just got I gotta put this out here. I've been calling people a junkyard dog for years. For years, I've been calling people because you know the WWE guy. Yeah. He, was, he had a lot of heart, but you guys, the Walshes, are the real junkyard dogs. I actually call Chad junkyard dog, but you're literally a junkyard dog. Am I right? Oh uh, yeah, we have two junkyards in Philadelphia. Yep. That is awesome. Yeah. So that's actually riders, like right there, isn't it? Yeah, riders about a uh, less than an hour. So you're right there. Yeah. You can have any duels real close. Oh yeah, we most we we can hit all the duels. All the duels. Okay, so yeah. the next thing I go out and I look and I see this dude doing some funky stuff, a blonde kid out here, and I'm like, look at the back of shirt. I see Walsh. I'm like, how many more of these guys are? What's going on, man? Is this your last son? He's the last one. Yeah. And you have a daughter though too. I do. She's my she's my toughest one, but. She's uh, she'll be in ninth grade this year, yeah. So she go to Camden too? Camden Catholic, yes. So this is an all boys school. Camden's is, is Camden Catholic's co -ed. Camden, it's co -ed. Okay, it is, yeah. Okay, so looking at it, you know, your kids on the map. You know, both of his brothers are all Americans, but kids are different. You know, not everybody's going to be a funk master, or you know, your other kids like to make a lot of moves up. This guy Russell's pretty solid. I was watching. He's got good leg attacks. Yeah, he's the first one with the good leg attacks. Yeah, but, yeah, he's. Uh, Work in progress. He's working hard. He's getting better every day. So, did you ever imagine that you know a college coach would have one of your sons show a misdirection leg attack like Lee Roper did today? Not one of my boys. Yeah. So where do you think the fun comes from? Is that what you teach as a, as, a, as a coach? Yeah, we do. My brother and I were inner city coaches for years, and uh, so we always taught big stuff, big throws, a lot of unorthodox things to try to get the inner city kids to compete with the kids who've been wrestling their whole life, and so we did a lot of big big stuff but so that's kind of where it all started so you know you look at this this event you know your kids on the he's on a ton of radars already he's already on the big 10 coaches radars he's on obviously riders radar you know um what do you guys want to get out of the c3 event you know compound college combine what do you guys want to see your son get out of it uh, i think i'm excited to see cliff up here i've known cliff for years uh, our older sons wrestled together out in indiana anthony wrestled with taylor and uh it's just incredible them guys have a great energy level. And it's nice that we don't have to go to Georgia. They travel around to come do their camps. So we're bringing some kids up. From, uh, some of the high school kids came up. Some of the neighborhood kids came up. And, uh, you know, it's a great event. It's in New Jersey, so it's, it's awesome. How do you split your time? You got four kids. You know, you got you own multiple business sites, at least. You got to manage that. You, you got to do all this. You know, uh, you got a kid wrestling in high school. Kid wrestling in college. You got a daughter. I don't know what does she do. Does she Field do hockey. Field like, how do you how do you balance that all as a father? I think you, uh, they all know you, you devote different different issues have a little more weight to go to. You know, I've missed a couple Big Ten tournaments to be with Chad at high school states. Um, but if Taylor was able to do it then, you know, it's just you got to float around and, and try to cover all your bases with the kids. They uh, they all know I'm behind them. If I'm not there, I'm on the phone with them. And their mother's there with them, and uh, you know, we're doing. Trying to do everything we can to be involved with them. In four years, it's all over. All of them are out of the house. What do you do? Uh, I don't know. Probably uh, get some more hobbies, do a little more fishing. Yeah. But now we're, we're, you know, we're helping the kids all the time anyway. We got uh, our high school kids are all looking to do, do bigger things, and uh, you know, we, we do a lot of things with the high school kids. We take them to big tournaments, and we take them to the water park the next day. Because as you know, wrestling's a sport that'll wear on you. You got to keep it fun and. You know, when it's time to you know to wrestle, you got to go hard, but you also got to you got to break it up a little bit with some fun stuff. You know. All right, last session's coming up. You got anything else for me? No, nah, it's just great. Thanks for having me coming out from Ohio. It's, it's always great to see you guys. Appreciate it. Go Flo. Hey, thanks for the time, and I'll tell you what, if you get a Jeep Comanche for me, I'll find. <laughs> hey, thanks for the time. Thanks, brother.